In this video, you are going to learn how to edit a video in Camtasia. This video assumes that you already have made the recording part of the video and are now looking to edit it. You will also need to have a recorded voice track to match the video before we begin. You are going to need to start by opening Camtasia Studio. This is one of two elements in Camtasia. You will have already used the other one, Camtasia Recorder, to record the screencast itself, which we are now editing. In the top of the interface, click the Import Media button, and in the window that appears, locate the recording, CamRec format, and the audio file, MP3 format, that you created earlier. Press Ctrl on the keyboard and use the mouse to select both options. The files will appear in your clip bin, and you need to click on the audio file and drag it to track 1. It will appear in the timeline below. Now click on the screen track and drag it to the Create New Track area. It will also appear in the timeline. Click and drag both of these clips to the left so that they are flush with the start of the timeline. Now we are going to need to edit the video track so that it matches up with the audio. There are several tools you are going to utilize to do this. How and when you use these will depend on your individual video. The first one is simply going to be cutting bits of the video out. Make sure only the video track is selected and then press the S button on the keyboard. Go to the second location you want to cut and repeat the process. You can now click the fragments between the two cut points and delete it by pressing delete on the keyboard. Now drag the later clip to the earlier clip and play it to make sure that the join is seamless. Jumps in the video look unprofessional and should be avoided. Another important way to match clips with the voice track is adjusting the video speed. For example, you need to speed up installation of programs so that there is not dead time in the video. To do this, you will need to isolate the part of the video that you want to speed up, just like how we did with the bit we wanted to remove before. Now, right-click on the clip we just created and click Clip Speed. A dialog box will appear and you need to adjust the clip speed to a higher percentage. You can, of course, slow things down as well, if needed. This requires a bit of experimentation so that it is matched up perfectly with the audio. When done, click OK, and once again you will need to drag the later clip towards the one we just sped up. Now let's have a look at how to highlight parts of the screen. Personally, I'd recommend that you only use one form of highlight as it gives a cleaner appearance. My preference is the red outline. Click Callouts, click the expression arrow, and then click on the red square option. The perfectly formed one looks neater. On the preview to the right, you will see an outline. You need to drag this and resize it over the area you want to highlight. When done, click Play, and you will see the animation appears. To tweak when it appears and disappears, you can make changes in the timeline below. Some users would advocate using zooms as they go along, but it is easier if you do them after you have finished the rest of the video. When you have done all the chopping and highlighting, click anywhere in the timeline and press Ctrl and A on the keyboard, then press Ctrl and G. This will group everything together. Drag the player icon back to the start of the timeline and click Zoom and Pan above. Play the video, and when you come to somewhere you want to zoom into, drag the points on the image in the top left of the screen to the area that you want to focus on. You can also click and drag the highlighted area to change the focus area. When you want to change the zoom again, such as when the focus is elsewhere, simply pause the video again at the right point and adjust the zoom in the top right. When you have finished with the zooms, you should have a good overall result. All you need to do now is watch the video to make sure it's OK and export it in whatever format you want. And this has just been a very brief introduction on how to edit videos in Camtasia Studio.